Hey, boys and girls, I just wanted to help you out with your work. We're going to start with page 477, okay, with the spark you're learning. We're going to be talking about Andy and Carl. So Andy and Carl um, want to meet up at the library. Um, but in order to figure that out, we have to plot for the library, okay? So it says that they agreed to meet at the library. The library is at the intersection. The word intersection means where two things meet, okay, where they cross, okay? So the first clue of where the library is is that... Um, the street that it's on is three blocks south of the art museum. This is our compass. South means going down, so we're going to go down three blocks. One, two, three. Okay? And then it's the next clue that they give us is that the street is also five blocks west of the history museum. So now we're going to go west, and it is one, two, three, four, five, right? They told us five blocks. So I'm going to go up, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to make a line here. So again, it's where these two streets meet. So once we came down here, there was a street. And when we came over here, there is another street. Okay, and remember what I said, intersection, intersection, just like the T in intersection, it is where they meet. Okay, so they both meet, oh, let me get another color. They both meet here. Okay, so this is where the library is. I'm going to put L there for library. And it's on 4, 6. Remember, we go with our axes. This is my X and this is my Y. When we plot or give our coordinates, our ordered pair, we go X to the first. So we go all the way to the 4. Okay. And then we give our Y coordinate, which is over here at 6. Okay, on the Y line. Okay, and then it is up to, um, your job to answer the question of who walks farther to get to the library. So, um, Carl, who's at the museum, does he walk farther to get to the library? Or is it Andy? Does he walk farther to get to the library? Okay, let's go over to here. Um, each unit on the map represents one block. Okay, very similar to the other situation. The library is located at 6, 5. So we're going to go ahead and plot the library. We're going to go on our x-axis first, 6. And then we're going to go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and again, I know that it, this is 5 because 5 is between 4 and 6 exactly. Okay, so that is the library. I'm going to put in L. And this is just step-by-step -step, um, directions to tell you where to go. So find the location of the library. I just found it by telling you what I did, but this is step-by-step -step questions of how to answer that. So what is the x-coordinate of the location of the library? Well, that's 6. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that it is 6 um, blocks away from the y. It is, I'm sorry, it is 6 blocks away from the um, y-axis. Okay, so that's how we get six it's one two three four five six six points away from y so that's what you would write over here on what does that mean uh what is the y coordinate the y coordinate is five so that's what we would say over here it is five what does that mean it means that it is five points away from the x axis okay then it says plot the location of the on the grid and label that point as library. So I just did. I wrote L, but you can write out the word library if that helps you. And then it says, how do you find the location of the school? So same exact thing. They told us that the coordinates are 2, 7. So to find the coordinates of the school, you would go 2 away from the y-axis on the x-axis to find 2. And then you would go up 7, okay, away from the x-axis. You would go up 7. And again, label that S for school, okay?